Are you currently building your blog or website? I don't know which platform to use. In this video, we will be comparing WordPress and the Ghost blogging platform. We will look at their strengths and weaknesses and in what situation you should use the one or the other. We will also look into things like support, complexity of setting up, pricing, and also how you can use one of those to make money. If you like those types of videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. This helps me out a lot. If you have any thoughts, ideas or questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, I appreciate every feedback. WordPress is used by 37% of the web, so I guess most of you are already familiar with WordPress. It comes in two flavors. You can use it either as a self-hosted solution or you can use it, uh, you can host it directly by WordPress. Ghost offers the same option. Ghost can either be self-hosted or you can use the, uh, or you can host it uh, at ghost.org. One of the biggest differences is, is that under the hood, Ghost uses Node.js, whilst WordPress uses PHP. When it comes to actually what you can do with those platforms, WordPress has a much larger possibility. You can basically create anything from simple blogs to e-commerce websites, uh, custom solutions and so on. While with Ghost, Ghost is much simpler and cleaner and is mostly focused on memberships websites. So pretty simple blogs with the options uh, to create members. You can either create free members or paid members and this is one of the biggest points uh, that Ghost offers in comparison to WordPress. You can also create those functionalities with WordPress as well but Ghost has more out-of-the-box solutions for that and if you are looking to create something as simple and as fast as possible uh, Ghost would be the option here. But if you are looking to create something more complex like an e-commerce website, you basically cannot create this with Ghost, you would need to use WordPress. Because it has less functionality, it is much faster. If you set up a basic blog in WordPress and Ghost, you will have a better performance using Ghost. This of course greatly depends on the themes you are using and uh, the environment you are hosting your site on. But considering that both provide the same environment, Ghost would slightly be faster in this case than WordPress. When it comes to configuration and setting up of WordPress and Ghost, basically both options uh, provide either self-hosting or managed hosting. Either if you are going with Ghost or WordPress, the complexity to set those up pretty much is the same. So setting up your domain, environment, services, infrastructure basically boils down to the same. The commands are different since WordPress is using PHP and Ghost is using Node.js. But if you follow the instructions on their websites, it basically boils down to the same. When it comes to the dashboard when you are logged in, both provide the same type of dashboard where you can uh, manage your posts, uh, monitor your comments and so on. Uh, but in comparison to WordPress, WordPress provides much more functionality and much more options, especially when you install some plugins. While the WordPress, uh, while the Ghost dashboard always stays the same, no matter what plugins you install, and you have a lot of less flexibility. But if you are looking for just a simple blog, you get pretty much everything, all the core features you need. When it comes to plugin support, both Ghost and WordPress have uh, all basic plugins you would need like MailChimp, Google Analytics, YouTube, Buffer, Discuss for uh, monitoring comments. But WordPress of course has a much 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 larger community and marketplace of plugins where you basically can find anything you wish. Uh, but for example if you are just running a simple blog, uh, let's say you don't have Yoast for Ghost, but Ghost has already implemented uh, another plugin which you get right out, uh, right, right out of the box, which basically works like Yoast. Uh, so for all basic plugins... So for me personally, I started using Ghost because I didn't want to work with PHP. I didn't know a lot about PHP, but I was really good at Node.js and JavaScript. So I thought uh, if I go with Ghost, I can easily develop my own themes and I wouldn't be so reliant on other people developing my themes and plugins. So my, that's the reason I got into Ghost. And my final thoughts are, if you are going to develop a lot of themes or if you are develop, 
if you are going to develop a lot of custom solutions, you should really think about that if you are better with Node.js or PHP or if your team is better or whatever, which technology is more simple to you. Uh, because developing themes in Ghost was pretty much very easy and convenient. It uses a templating engine handlebars and I found myself in a good spot to develop my own themes. Um, so it depends on your tech skills, uh, the speed of the development and the theme development for which technology you are going to go. When it comes to the website complexity, you also need to uh, think about it, what you are going to build. If it is maybe just a simple blog with a few extra functionalities like a newsletter uh, or maybe a digital downloads or something in that direction, you can definitely build this with Ghost, but you are going to need to develop some parts on your own. If you are uh, going to build something more complex, like an e-commerce website um, or something like that, you're probably better with going with WordPress. If you're also going to build a landing page and for example, you're better with JavaScript uh, than PHP, you can definitely go with Ghost. Um, and one thing, one very important thing you need to take into consideration is the support with Ghost. You basically, I mean with WordPress and Ghost, if you're self-hosting it, you don't have support, but at least you can ask questions. There are a lot of problems already solved. With Ghost, you're pretty much left in the dark. There is, um, if you ask a simple question, there is probably, uh, you're probably not going to find any forms or any comments or responses on that. Uh, the number of users is growing and it is improving, but still it is nowhere near comparable to WordPress. So if you are going to go the route with Ghost, you definitely should be more familiar with the tech stack and don't expect so many solutions to find on Stack Overflow. So uh, this wraps uh, our WordPress versus Ghost tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe and like the channel. Um, if you would like me to create the videos on a certain topic or have certain questions, just comment down below or send me a message and, when I and I will definitely cover your topic in the next video. So thank you for watching and bye.